Hello, and welcome back to Matt Plays Dungeons of Dreadmoor. This is episode 3, and it's actually, I just recorded it, and I had some problems with recording. So, all that happened was I pretty much leveled up. I stepped on a teleporter somewhere around here, and got over here and explored a little bit. And I got Ninja Vanish when I leveled up. And I'm going to show you what that does real quick, because you probably don't know. So... As you can see, it is a special ability, and when I select it and right click, it turns me invisible. Now, whenever there's an enemy, and I use that, they will lose sight of me and just pretty much wander around each turn, and only last 10 turns, and then the 10th turn I just reappear. So, with that said, let's go. I'm still trying to find Brax the Merchant. I've, it's never taken me this long. Remember one of my games before, I just like opened up one door and he was just sitting there. It's funny. Turn the sound up. Oh yeah, and I also um, used the uh, anvil, uh, anvil of Krong on a sword I found. And I actually use the other one up too. I used it twice, and it does give you double the blessings or curses. So you can use an item twice on the Anvil of Krong without being wasteful. So, yay. Oh, and I found some armor. And a shield. A lot happened. Oh, it's still alive. Bookshelf. Dwarven landmine. Oh, another statue of inconsequentia. Jeez. Sweet. Another side quest. The magical artifact. Bit coldness. The incoming tapestries has been lost. Will you seek it? Of course I will. Duh! <laughs> I didn't even mean to do that. Saltpeter. I think is explosive. So you can make traps with that. Some more Zorkmids. Narrow club. Do not like clubs. How's my inventory? Oh, it's full. Let's eat some food. I saw those bolts. Oh, bolas. Sweet. Throwing item. I'm not really a big fan of the throwing items, but I do like the crossbows. They're really helpful. But I don't recommend using them as like that being your only weapon. Oh gosh, I'm getting attacked by Diggle Eggs! Again, some more, yay! Everybody loves Diggle Eggs. Oh sweet, leveled up again. Um do you, I do like the this one. The burglary ones. Now, I have gotten the vending machine looter perk, or special ability, but I don't know how it works. Like, I don't know how to loot the vending machines. I don't know, like, I think it might just give you the two, like, it might give you one point of that yellow and the orange. I don't really know what it does, I'll have to do some research on that. But, since I don't know what it does, I won't level it up for now. I think what I'm going to do is... do nightly leap which is another special ability and it's pretty cool actually it teleports you to a random spot close to you it can be helpful attack monster 
Oh. Alright, so right there, that is to descend to the next level of the dungeon. Which means that there are going to be harder monsters and better loot. But I don't think I'm quite ready for that. I really want to find the merchant before I go down, too. So I'll just keep that in mind where it is, and it's also on the map. See right there, the orange. Come on, Brax, where are you? Don't do this to me. Oh, another food dispenser. Cool. Hmm. Okay, is he going to be behind this door? I wonder. Nope. Oh, wait. Wait, I think I see something. Oh, oh. Oh. Nope. Seriously, like, what is that? Is it just like a little flag? Really? Probably behind this door. Alright, well, this is the end of episode 3 of Matt Plays Dreadmore. We'll hopefully find Brax the Merchant in the next episode. And, uh, so yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.